Imagine driving into a busy parking lot, circling endlessly just to find an empty space. This not only wastes time and fuel, but also increases traffic congestion and emissions. Parking management has long been a challenge for urban planners and businesses alike. This is where computer vision not only solves our problems but also optimizes the solution. Using computer vision, parking spaces can now be monitored in real time, automatically detecting whether a spot is occupied or empty, and based on this, notifying the driver where to park their car. No extra sensors, no manual checks, just smart cameras powered by computer vision. The outcome is a smarter parking ecosystem, one that alleviates congestion, elevates the customer experience, and maximizes the use of every available space. From busy shopping malls to smart cities, these systems provide superior urban planning, more efficient traffic management, and even increased revenue through the optimization of parking operations. In this tutorial, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to fine-tune YOLO and build the logic for smart parking monitoring, so you can build a solution that truly make an impact. Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on fine-tune YOLO for parking space monitoring. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can build a parking space monitoring system using computer vision. So it will monitor the real-time status of the slot in a parking space if it's empty or not. So for that tutorial, I'm using this sample uh, video. It contains a drone view of a parking lot and there are many parking spaces as you can see. So our task is to detect which parking space is empty or not. So to do that, first we have to create a data set of this uh, sample video. So to do that, I have created uh, a library for this. You can just clone it. So I have already cloned it. It's called fine-tune utilities which is this so from that you can create a data set of this video let's create a data set you just have to provide the address to the video the output directory name and the number of images you want from that video now our data set has been created so these are 10 images i have retrieved from that video so our next step is to annotate those data set using the uh, classes which we want to detect on the video let's get to our annotation part for annotating on image data set you can use our labeler platform using our labeler platform you can upload your image data set and create various classes which you want to train your model on and then you can label your object using bonding boxes you have to keep repeating this until all of your object has been annotated in that image and the end result will look something like this as you see all the objects which we want to detect using uh, our YOLO model has been annotated so now you have to accept this and keep repeating this same process for other data set images and at the end you have to export it in coco json format let's get to our next step in our next step we have to convert the coco json export of annotation which we have for created using labeler platform to yolo format so to do that you just have to use a function from the repo you have cloned previously so you have to use function coco to yolo converter from coco yolo converter dot bonding box converter and you have to provide the annotation dot json part and the image directory in which all the images has been stored so let's run this as you can see it will instantly convert your coco json to yolo format let's get to our next step in our next step we have to fine tune yolo model on our custom data set for detecting the class which we have labeled so to do that you have to import yolo from ultralytics 
computer vision, library, or op open CV and matplotlib. Then you have to just use this command line for model training. In that command line, you have to provide to our task, which is to detect our mode, which is to train and data equals to parts to data sort dot yml when you have created poco json to yolo format there will be a data set dot yml file which contain the image directory part and the classes name you have to provide this data set yml part to this part and then the model on which you want to train i am going to use yolo 8 x model and number of epochs you want to train on so i have already run this command line and it will provide me with a result which contain our train models in weights which is the these two best dot pt last dot pt let's see the result of these two on a sample frame this is the result which we obtained from our yolo detection so as you can see all the classes of uh, vehicle uh, is detected so let's get to our next step in our next step we are going to build the logic behind how we are going to find if a parking space is empty or not so to do that let's see a sample frame of the video so as you can see we first have to detect the vehicle in that frame which we can done using yolo now we have to detect if that vehicle is in the parking space or not so to do this you have first find the center point of that parking space and if that center point is in any detection of the vehicle class it means that that parking space is not empty so to to do that you first have to retrieve one by one center point of each parking space and store it in a list and then iterate through that list to to compare if that point is inside a detection of an object so let's do this so to do that i have created a simple script to to point out each center point of a parking space let's run this script so when you run this script you will see there will be a window open and now you can select the center point of each of the parking space slot one by one i will show you a sample and As you can see, I have selected all the centers of this column. Now we just have to escape that. As you can see, it has two the coordinates of all the center points of that column. We just have to store that the coordinates in this variable list. And I have already done that part so which we are going to not see again so i have stored all the center point of the parking space in a list and merged that list in a super list called parking spot let's see our result as you can say there are total parking sp spots 
is 393 and this is the result i have obtained now we know all the center points of the parking space now we just have to build a simple logic to detect if that point is any of the detection of objects let's get to our next step in our next step i have created a function for our parking monitoring system which take these arguments as input our first argument is parking spot which we have retrieved in this step this parking spot is a list contain all the all the coordinates of parking spot center and our next argument is model which is the part to our custom yolo model and then the input video part which is the app parts to this sample video and the output video part and the confident threshold of our model so let's see our logic so here is our starting logic of which is while true means which we are going each frame of the video and seeing the results of our model on each frame and storing in that result and for each result we are retrieving the bonding box of that object which we have detected and that coordinates of bonding boxes which is in format of x1 y1 x2 y2 is stored in car boxes list and then for our next step we are iterating over all the coordinates points of parking spot and then comparing if that bonding box and the par center point of the parking spot is inside it if that inside it it will show that is occupied variable change to true and then it will be break break out of the loop and if occupied is true it will show that point circle in a red color and if not it will show in green color and for next step, we are drawing the car bonding boxes, means we are drawing bonding boxes on detected objects. So, this is the main logic how you are going to check the status of the parking spot. And for extra mile, you can create a status bar which will be so all the parameters like how many parking space are empty or how many parking space are not empty and the total percentage of occupancy in that parking space so let's run this script now now let's run this function as you can see i have provided it with the arguments parking spots the path to custom model of yolo and the video which we are going to use and the confident threshold let's run this and see the result As you see, our logic works flawlessly here. We can track the status of each parking spot in real time and check if it's empty or not. And so the result on the upper right of the frame. So now you know how you can build the real time parking space monitoring system using computer vision. So let's see you on our next tutorial. For more computer vision or machine learning related tasks, you can check our GitHub where you will find everything in one place.